So by now, we already know that all lines on a graph also have their equivalent linear equations as their counterparts. What happens when we have two lines that are not parallel with each other, or shall I say, that do not have the same slope? Well, since the slopes differ, it's only a matter of time before they end up crossing each other. When they do cross each other, we call this a point of intersection. In this video, let's learn about how to find this point of intersection between two lines, otherwise known as solving linear systems. Let's look at this line over here. When x is 3, y is 4. Good. And now let's look at this other line. For this line, notice how our x and y values for this point are the exact same as our previous line. When x is 3, y is 4. Of course, when you think about it, this only makes sense because the two lines are intersecting each other at this very coordinate. Thus, if you're ever asked to solve a system of two linear equations, what you should do is simply find the intersection point of the two lines. But the question now is how? There are a few different ways to do it. The simplest way is when you're given literally a graph as such. All you have to do is look for the point in which they intersect and simply take note of the x and y coordinates to find your solution. Of course, you'll usually be given equations instead, which makes it much more difficult. And while you might be able to draw the graph like this one, and then just eyeball the point of intersection, it can be a bit inaccurate to rely on drawing the graph perfectly by hand. Instead, we're going to learn to solve for the linear systems through the method of substitution. So let's try an example where one of the equations is y minus 2x equals 3, and the other is 3y plus 6x equals 12. So how would you solve this system of equations? Or another way to say the same thing would be, how would you find the point of intersection? Well, since we're going to be using the substitution method, all you would need to do is the following. Take one of the equations, whichever one we want, and then isolate the equation with one of the variables on the left side. For example, if we chose this equation, all we would have to do is isolate one of the variables and it can be any one you want it to be. Let's say we want to isolate y. We can do this by adding 2x on both sides to get y equals 3 plus 2x. Good. And now, since we know for a fact that y equals 3 plus 2x, let's substitute this 3 plus 2x into the other equation. Where do we substitute it into? Well, remember that this equation said 3 plus 2x is equal to y. So we substitute it in replacement of y in the other equation. What we get is 3 times open bracket 3 plus 2x closing bracket plus 6x equals 12. Now, let's simplify this. We distribute the multiplication of 3 to this and this to get 9 plus 6x plus 6x equals 12. Simplify some more and we get 9 plus 12x equals 12. Subtract both sides by 9 to get 12x equals 3. Now we divide both sides by 12 to get x equals 3 over 12, which is the same as 1 over 4. Therefore, we have x equals 1 over 4. So if this substitution method actually works out, then between these two original equations that we had, we would be able to find a point where they share the same xy coordinates. If our calculations are correct, then the x value that yields the same y value for both equations will be x equals 1 over 4. So let's put that to the test. Substitute 1 over 4 into the x's of each equation and we get the following. The first one simplifies down to y minus 1 over 2 equals 3. If we add each side with 1 over 2, we get 
y equals 3 plus 1 over 2, resulting in y equals 3 and a half. Now, does the other equation also produce 3.5 for y when x is 1 over 4? Let's go ahead and solve this as well. Simplifying this gives us 3y plus 3 over 2 equals 12. If we subtract both sides by 3 over 2, we get 3y equals 12 minus 3 over 2. If we compute 12 minus 3 over 2, we get 10.5, divide both sides by 3, which gives us y equals 10.5 over 3. 10.5 over 3 is equivalent to 3.5. So it looks like when x is 1 over 4, y is 3.5 for both equations, which means that this is an intersection point, and that this is our solution. So that's it for finding the intersection point, or shall I say, for solving linear systems with two equations through the substitution method. I encourage you to check our video on solving linear systems with two equations through the elimination method now, now that you're finished with this one. That's it for today guys and have a good one.